fresh baked goodies and other sweets made from the apples that are grown right on this orchard. Welcome back to News 12 Long Island. I'm Doug Deed. Some of these apples also end up as hard cider. A visit now to Woodside Orchards. Property is about 15 acres. My father bought it in 1984. Planting the trees had no idea what he was getting involved in. What grew from that retirement project was a very popular business. And although founder Bob Gammon passed away this past August, the business continues through his sons. The original orchard in Jamesport is open until Thanksgiving. Pretty much after uh, Halloween, we turn into a, like a farm, more of a farm stand. We sell apples and baked goods and uh, you know pies and breads. This year we did have an abundance of apples, so there are still apples on the trees. So if you do come up, we'll probably let you go out and see what you can find. A couple miles away in Aquabog is the tasting room for their hard cider. The first four that we try and keep up there, dry, sweet, raspberry, cinnamon, they all do really well. Pumpkin's always popular this time of year. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to start working on ginger. And I know especially for the winter holidays, we try and put cranberry on tap. People will come in and be like, you know, we drive past this place all the time and we always want to stop and we just never have. And uh, so I'll say, well, you know, welcome, um, do a flight, see what you like, and then let's go from there. We put two um, large patios out back. We're putting fire pits out a weekend or so before Thanksgiving, and we'll carry that through Christmas and into January, depending on, on the weather. We'll have the apple breads, we'll have the pies, cider donuts we have going every weekend hot. And those chocolate chip cookies, still big sellers, right? Yeah, yeah, th those go pretty much as quick as we can make them. For more information about Woodside Orchards and other fun spots to visit, go to news12.com slash East End. In Aquabog, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island.